Hello there my friends, I hope you're doing well. This is Mike from Pyro Delta. Today I'm very pleased to show you how our modules are being integrated into a drone engine. And when I say drone, I'm not talking about one of those uh, small flying cameras. I'm actually talking about a large 15 foot wingspan, 280 pound drone that can transport uh, aid or uh, any necessary supplies to remote areas. So this engine here is a two-stroke engine. It produces 47 horsepower and the bare engine weighs 26 pounds, which is very impressive. Now, this engine has all sorts of electronics and sensors to do all its functions and provide the necessary power to lift this aircraft off ground. So let me show you what type of sensors and what type of electronics that is needed for this engine and how our module is powering all of that. So on this engine, you obviously need energy for your spark plugs. You also need energy for your cylinder head temperature and your manifold absolute pressure sensor and various other sensors that need constant power to be able to send this data to the ECU and then the computer, the ECU, will send orders for the injectors and the ignition to perform and actually produce 47 horsepower. And in order to power all of these electronics, you will need a battery to power them. So let me show you what type of battery that can power them and how our module actually recharge this battery using the heat differential between the exhaust temperature and the atmosphere. And the way it does that, it is directly mounted on the exhaust here of this engine and is sandwiched between the exhaust and a heat sink. So the difference between the temperature of the exhaust itself and the heat sink is enough to give it enough uh, heat differential so it can generate electricity to recharge a battery. Let me show you the battery. So this is the battery that powers everything on board this engine. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery and this is what gives the energy to the spark plugs and all the sensors that I showed you. Now you can run this battery for a little while but you need a way to recharge this battery while the engine is in operation just like any other engine. And the way this is traditionally done is, is by using one of those magnetos. And this is basically a coil and a flywheel that has a magnet around it here. And let me show you how much this weighs. As you can see, this is about uh, five pounds, uh, slightly more than five pounds, but it's not only about the weight. The fact that the engine need to rotate all this mass puts a lot of strain on the engine and limits its horsepower output. So instead of driving a propeller, the engine is also required to drive this massive mass here at 7,000 RPM. But when our module is integrated in a heat sink, and this heat sink is bolted directly on the exhaust of the engine it provided enough energy to power this lithium iron phosphate and keeps it running for six hours straight just by the differential of the exhaust heat and the atmosphere and the cool thing about that is that the propeller wash the air generated by the propeller actually cools down the heat sink so the heat differential between the hot side and the cold side is enough to power this generator to give enough juice to this battery and keeps it going. And as you can see, it weighs exactly one pound. And this is, um, was a very a big engineering challenge to keep the recharging uh, unit under one pound. And we've achieved that. 
But the big benefit here is that you don't need to rotate this huge mass anymore to generate enough energy to power this battery. Instead, you have a solid state solution that doesn't need balancing, doesn't need anything, and just takes advantage of this waste heat that was going to go into the atmosphere anyway and generate enough DC current to, to keep this battery charged. So we are very happy and pleased about integrating our modules and drones and they have been already tested in this application and subjected to simulation like uh, sandstorms or high altitude and tested in vacuum chamber just to make sure that our modules perform and they do perform very well and I can't wait to show you more about our exciting applications in the near future. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.